This pack looks like it's bad. Or is it? It's got a Birds of Paradise in it. Yeah. Bird might be the best pick. Bayou, Tundra. Well, guess I'm trapped into green again. <laughs> Colonia. Colonian Hydra has been a chonky one for sure. Champion of Lambholt's also really, really strong. Orochi Hatchery has been very bad. What do we think? Champion or Colonian? Hydra or Holt? Stop playing green, Kenji. Holt's better, is it? It's cheaper. All right, fine. I'll go with the champion this time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to try something I haven't done before, which is green-white. <gasps> Base Fetters or Hwatley's Raptor? Hmm, Interaction or Two-Drop Proliferator? <laughs> you know what happens here, don't you? I end up in green white, I get no removal, and I get raffle stomped. Ah! Ah! Look, I'm just setting myself up for the Conclave Mentor, for the Heliod, for the Walking Ballista, for the Archangel of Thune, for the Spike Feeder. Okay? When in doubt, run it back for the sixth time and get it to work eventually. Oh, or, eh. Didn't even see what else was in the pack. Because we're doing it. Have faith. Oh my god. Well, there's Finx, so if we can get a sack outlet, we rock, we're also... Uh, Ah, oh, but Evo Sage is so insane. This is just good with the Archangel. This is just good with everything, so. I'm gonna take the Sage. Sorry, chat. No, Sage. If Sage wheeled, there was, there's something wrong, I think. I'm more likely to wheel the Kitchen Finks, I, I believe. Pretty bird. You're such a pretty bird. What the hell's up with that text? Misprint! Misprint student of warfare. I'm gonna take the wicker bow elder here over the endless one. They are. I have not pulled off the ballista plus heliod, but I've had heliod and spike feeder for infinite life. Triumph of Gerard. That card is fine. This might be more of a sideboard than anything else. I don't think I want the Vanguard. I might actually take the Swallow Hole here for some interaction since I've been very bad about taking interaction in my green-white decks thus far. Zealous is real good. Boom, 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 boom. Which seat can I take? Why are we king? Is it this ain't a crypt stream? Okay. 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 Okay on that one. Okay. Yeah, who would want to play green white, you idiot? Macaroni torpedo. Macaroni in a pot. First pick Savannah, or should I be able to wheel the Savannah and take the Forgotten Ancient? 
Ugh, Savannah's the safe pick, but Ancient is so good. But, like I said, chat, when I try, you know, I can't lose, so... If you guys want to see another trophy, you're in for a treat. Solidarity is a meh. Cytoplast and Apparition are uh, yes, please. I'm going to take the interaction here first. <laughs> Internet issues incoming. Not like this. Not like this! <sighs> Another really good pack here. I have a hard time passing Voracious Hydra just since it just does so much. Offensively and defensively. Nomad Song Formation Aldis as well. Night of Autumn. Nah. Again. Interaction is king. And the king has returned. Hero of Blade Hold. Ooh, Cathar's Crusade too? Ah, I'll take Hero. Should wheel something out of this pack. Crusade, Sigil, Battle Priest, Vault Scourge, Harpooner. Falconer. Alright. Give all my creatures flying. Seems good. <laughs> Swearing off green only lasted one draft. That's all it needs to last. One draft. Nice. Command is insane. Sorry, Br uh, Brimaz. Dramoka's command is just way too good. There's a Vizier here, too. I don't have any of the combo pieces for Vizier, but... I don't think green is necessarily OP. Okay. Uh... <sighs> mm, we might even just run the Dragon Slayer. It's got lifelink and it's kind of hard to block, right? Oh no, this one you can block with anything, never mind. Will Spike. Okay, no wheels here. You know what's delicious? Spam. Spam egg and rice with some soy sauce, or spam musubis, or spam egg sandwiches, or... Yeah, spam with anything. Okay, we did wheel the solidarity, but I don't think that's going to be good enough on our deck. I'm going to take the Nomad out over Formation. We still need creatures. Nomad's pretty solid with all of these synergies it has. Ooh, Knight of Autumn wheeling was... Yes, please. All right, wield the Priest and the Crusade. Let's get some Life Linky up in here. I don't think Veteran is actually all that impressive. We might run it, but... Hey, there's the spike feeder. Weep, 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 weep. Passing an ooze, killer, stone coil. Gear Hulk. Oh, windswept ETH. All right, again, being smart, being safe, taking the heath. Damn, this pack is also chunky. Elspeth Conquers, Micaeus, Tracker, Triumph? <laughs> Holy moly. This deck seems insane. Ooze or Sage? I don't think we want the Sage. Ooze seems good. Strike and Blessing are alright, but... 
What do we need? We need Heliot and Walking Ballista. Deck seems insane. Incoming internet droppage. Michael Convick, thank you for the 25 months sub in. So close to two years. Almost there. Another couple months and you'll hit it. There are a bunch of phantom creatures. Even just like phantom centaur would be nice. Because that card is OP. All right. How good is power conduit here? We have power conduit with Elspeth. Conquers. I mean, Recruiter can tutor for the uh, Spike Feeder, but our Conduit is kind of nuts, we've learned. Feed of Resistance seems good. Malira. Wait, what does that combo with? Thinks that I didn't take. I saw the Grafland, the Reborn. Either Stance or Malira. I guess we'll take Sideboard Stance. Nah, the Ozolith is pretty bad, I think. Overrated. Who's outside? Oh, actually, we have two Sagas to go along with the uh, Power Conduit. Alright, we did wield the Giant Killer. I'll be playing that one, I think. Oh, we could have taken the Malira with the Frixian Unlife. That's the combo right there, chat. The Unlife says, um, all damage dealt to you is, as it were, infect. And then Malira says you can't get infect. I'm not going to play the Triumph. The more, I've, the more I play that card, the more I realize it's overrated. Do, do, do. Might be able to cut the Dragon Slayer out of the main. This is probably a 16 land deck, no problem. Yeah, maybe that's too much protection. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I have Feet of Resistance. Maybe I don't need the Apostle's Blessing. I'd rather just have another 2 drop. That can gain counters and already has lifelink on it. I guess I should be running the Tempered Veteran too. I feel like I want to cut a 3-drop, but I don't know what 3-drop I want to cut. Kind of like all of them. I guess I don't need the ooze. The life thing seems nice here. And then I'll just go 16 lands. All right. I have very high confidence in this deck. Looks like a keeper to me. Bird off the top. Go, go. Red, white, uh-oh! Sun, homie. Ugh! Ugh! Excuse me. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go like this. All right, what you got, OP? Aurelia, yikes. This is getting dangerous, friends. Got it gains vigilance too. Do 
do do do do do do do all right it's not that bad actually i'm thinking about no 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 Oh wait, this is, yeah, yeah, no, we're good. We're good, we're good. Nice, okay. We're doing okay here. We're missing lands, but we're doing okay. <laughs> okay, this is fine. So they're actually going to attack with everything here, and then I'm going to give my Dragon Slayer Pro White to prevent the tap down, eat their Luminarch. Only take four. These missing lands are what's hurting me real bad. I only count two uncastables. Betters, that's no problem. All right, easy win. Heroic reinforcements, sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play it a little bit conservatively, but. All right. GG. Hoo! Never a doubt in my mind, chat. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, baby. Yeah, they had a pretty nasty curve out, but good news for us is we drew our cheap interaction, or a lot of our cheap interaction. Womp womp. I'm gonna pitch the Sage. I think this combo is good enough to keep. Obviously, we just need to draw some lands here, so. Land! You're no land. Comes the Aurelia. Oh Jesus, reinforcements. Take eight. Ow. <laughs> it's a good path target. Holy moly. I'm not gonna path this turn, I'll wait a turn. <laughs> oh, you won with three lands? Try two. <laughs> I think so. With Phantom Nomad? Absolutely. <sighs> All right, good.
Hold. The hell is this? Oh, sure. Hopefully they don't have a apparition or something. Oh, they have Angel. They have Angel that they can grab. That's right. Angel's kind of gross. Tutu? What are you talking about? I can only get it back as a zero one. Oh, I can get it back as like a two three. Oh, Machaeus. That's bad news, Bears. I don't know what this attack is. Just get a counter off my dude, I guess. Oh, I think they thought it was going to remove three or two counters off of it and not just one. They must have thought, yeah, it would be, it would remove based on the, ah, Menace! Okay. I lose here, right? I can get this back as an O1. Hmm. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, twelve, three, four, thirteen, sixteen. Okay. It's not the hellbent that's killing me. Or rather, yes, they're hellbent, but it's the board, it's the Machaeus. I should be okay here. They're going to need to top deck something this turn to kill me. Right, but with the Hydra trigger on the stack, I can move a counter to it to make it a 2 3. Draws Aurelia. Why no Outlast? Because I need two creatures to be able to block. All of their creatures have menace when they attack. So, the good news here... ...is that I do get to kill the wolf. The bad news is, they get to... ...kill my battle priest. I think I need to gain the extra life here, though. So I'm gaining seven back. Yeah, still in really bad shape. If they didn't draw an Aurelia there, I mean, I guess they're, they've drawn a lot of lands already, but if they bricked that turn, I think we were looking real good. Alas, they did not. Hmm. Voracious. It doesn't come back as a very relevant creature size at the moment. Bob's got that double flying. Ooh, needle spires. So it looks like they're gonna pump their team again. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's got trample too. That's right. So I have to lose my falconer here. I guess go to one. But now I have no way to deal with the Aurelia. So I have to gain a bunch of life this turn.
Too much pain is right. I'm at one on board again. <laughs> oh wait, am I dead because of the needle spires? I might actually be dead. I don't think we have outs. All right, well, game plan is to not get mana screwed and have a normal game of magic. We were able to win game one. Very close, very close. If they see the play, we dead. I don't actually know how this interacts with double strike and trample. Is it going to try to deal the damage to this again? Or is it going to kill me? Oh wow, it did try to deal damage to this again. Okay, that I did not know. That's interesting. GG. Well, it does seem right because remember, this doesn't have damage on it. It prevents the damage the first time. So it tries to deal damage again the second time. Okay, well, let's not get stuck on two or three lands like we have been the last few games. That would be a decent start. I mean, I don't see how I mulligan this hand. I'm going to be very, very sad, though, if we just have three games worth of mana issues. Breathe. A sigh of relief. Oh, goddamn, but they have this curve again. Yikes, and I don't have any interaction. Ugh. I mean... Sure. Sure, OP. It's too late, I think. A hey, stunted climber, thanks to the forty eight month sub. I don't think that does it. Ah, man. Tough hands to beat from them. Oh, come on. We're actually really close to killing them too is the nut is the nutty thing. If I had attacked last turn I would have won, right? They're tapping way too quick. Yeah. Oh well, what can you do? Chalk that one up to variants. We'll keep this one. Again, just need to find some lands, but... Also, the difference between 16 and 17 land is pretty minuscule in the grand scheme of things. Don't you do me like this. Ah! <sighs> 
<sighs> I think I might just need to trade the Evo Sage away. Possibility that I path my own champion of Lamb Holt here to guarantee a second white source. How do we have five lands? I pathed myself. <laughs> That's how. The opponent should probably be main phase pumping. They're not doing anything else with it. It's risky if they have a trick or something. Then I get completely wrecked and I don't get a land. If you're talking about two turns ago when I didn't block the troll and make that play. It's a pretty good draw. GG. Ah, this deck is so nice. Sad. Sad that we lost. It's all good, though. Move over to a little Fall Guys here soon. Oh my god, turn one bird? We did it. We draw just like one or two more lands. This game is just going to be GG too quick. Two GG for me. Ah. <laughs> uh. Got the Windswept Heath Evo Sage. <laughs> 3 p.m. Pacific, two hours from now. Signal Pest. Danto Vanguard. Hmm. I think I am just going to play out the 2-3 this turn. Get on the board. I might be playing champion next turn, which means I don't get the full Evo Sage value off of the uh, Heath, but that's okay. So we'll take 4 here. Ay ay ay. White, wax me! Now I wonder if I want to just kill the signal pest. This is so aggro, I'm taking so much damage next turn. What was that? Oh, unbreakable formation, okay. Alright, take eight. I'm at eight. They have one card left in their hand. If I could just draw a single removal spell. Oh, that's really good too here. That buys a lot of time. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to play the Phantom Nomad out here. And then not play a land. 
And then next turn I can go Sage, Heath, add a counter, add a counter. All right, so permanent chump duty on the student of warfare. Make them pay for life here. Swamp. Okay. Damn, they do have an apparition too. All right, that means I'm going to need to draw a removal spell next turn since we haven't had any yet. Chump here, take four. Good draw for opponents. Okay. <sighs> Again, I don't think we need to bring in Blessing or anything, or even Stance. Our deck is so good. Let's just win on the play this time. Me too. Yeah, this deck's been... or not this deck, this uh, format's been pretty decent. This is kind of a dirtle hand, but we'll keep. Maybe it's better to play this out and start tapping stuff down. Yeah, 1-1, one, one, and this is round 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bombardier, yeah, you got it. So no level up. My right, green decks OX. Uh, I guess so. Though I don't think that necessarily means green decks are bad. Why? I don't want a one for one trade. They double block. Chat, we have finally the combo that I want the Conqueror's Death with the Power Conduit. We can just. Keep exile exiling uh, permanents with three or more converted mana cost. This is so insane. Kind of like the power conduit we had with the Frixian scriptures. Sure. I don't know if they see the, the combo that I have yet. I'm going to take a bit of damage this turn. Uh, I think that was yesterday. But yeah, we move. We remove the the counter from the uh, <laughs> Elspeth conquers death with the power conduit, and so it just permanently keeps going. Kind of insane. I don't want to take too much damage, but I don't want to path any of these cards just yet. Right. Well, they're dead on board. So they are holding something open. What do you got? I'm going to hold back my Stirring Wildwood for now. Valor and Stance. All right. Oh wait, I don't need to do this. Uh, but I do want to hit them for four, so we can move the counter here. And then just on our upkeep or on the main phase trigger, we can do that. Okay. 
Yeah, it has to be before the trigger on the main face, because then if the second one pops, it'll do the number two. If they have, like, f exactly Fatal Push plus Apostle's Blessing, I lose. That would be nuts. <sighs> Alright, so on upkeep, I was going to activate the Stirring Wildwood. Uh, after activating Stirring Wildwood, I move the counter from Elspeth Conquer's Death onto the Wildwood. I then have two lethal creatures. The Elspeth Conquer's Death triggers again and eats their 5-drop. Easy baby GG. Please, no crazy curve. Please! <laughs> Not this again! This hand? This hand's not that insane. I only have one little bit of removal here. This doesn't really count right now. I guess the Adanto is actually the most scary threat right now. Anna Fenza be damned. Okay. That goes on the signal pest. I kind of want to block and give him a three or a two two. No, I don't. It's a good draw. Mm hmm. we draw a land next turn, it's game over. I might play super aggro and just take all the damage. Three, six, seven. Uh, maybe eight. Uh, probably playing too greedy here. Yeah, I probably should trade now. I'm going to let them hit me with Renown. This kills my land. Oh, that's good. Now they can't attack with their 3-3, three, because three, I can move a counter onto the Hwatlis. Hmm? Either they have a trick or they don't realize. Alright, stabilizing. Is there something I should play around by not attacking with other creatures? I think I'm just going to attack with the Raptor. I mean, there's no Resto Angel. What other flashy tricks are there? I guess they didn't have anything. I know it has Vigilance. I just meant I didn't want to attack into like a kill an attacker spell of some variety. Alright, GG's. Man, our deck was so sick too. If only we didn't have mana issues in the round in the first round. That deck was nice. All right, friends, I'm gonna move over and play some Fall Guys with uh, strong.